Hello FPL managers, today we are taking a look at the best bench filler options coming into the first game week of the new FPL campaign. In today's video, we take a look at 5 £4.5 million pound players, which could be good as budget enablers for the squad as well as good bench options for the opening game weeks. So just before we get into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to show support for the channel, and also click that notification bell so you guys don't miss any future uploads. So with that being said, let's get into the video. So taking a look at the first bench filler option is Eves Basuma. Basuma is coming in at the minimum price for midfielders at 4.5 million pounds and is the seventh highest owned midfielder in FPL for the new season with a 17.9% ownership. Last season, Basuma didn't get too involved in an attacking sense for Brighton as he could only manage one goal, but did pick up 11 extra points for the clean sheets, but he has only projected 2.7 points in game week one. The main asset that Basuma does hold is his consistency in his performances, as he played 36 out of the 38 matches last year for Brighton, meaning he is almost a certain starter. This is especially good for any £4.5 million pound player, and he's probably the most locked in £4.5 million pound midfielder in FPL at the moment, so for that reason he's always very reliable. He did also underperform his XG and his XA last season, where his XG was 1.08 and his XA was 1.08, so he does have that slight extra potential for those attacking returns, but the best reason to have Basuma in the team is his consistency in his starting time. Also, Brighton have some very promising fixtures to start the season, as they face Burnley and Watford as their first two opponents. Then they have Everton in game week 3, but after that they have Brentford, Leicester and Crystal Palace. So out of their first 6 matches, they only have 2 matches with an FDA rating of over 2. So there is potential for those attacking returns for Basuma early on, but I just think at 4.5 million pounds he is very good value. So taking a look at the next bench filler option it is Connor Cody. Cody is coming in at £4.5 million, which is a fairly good price for him and is fairly differential with just an 8.3% ownership. Amongst £4.5 million defenders, this does make him the 6th highest owned player, and he was the top scoring £4.5 million defender last year, getting himself 106 FPL points. This came about as he got himself 1 goal and 10 clean sheets, as despite Wolves not having the best defensive season, they still got double digits for clean sheets. Cody is only projected 2.3 points in game week 1, as Wolves do have a fairly tricky start to the season with their fixtures. They face Leicester, Tottenham and Manchester United as their first three opponents, but then the next four matches all have an FDI rating of 2, where they face Watford, Brentford, Southampton and Newcastle. So Cody could be a good one to have in the first game week of the season, just have him on the bench for the first three weeks, and then he will be in contention to start in your squads from game weeks 4 through to 7, so for that reason he could be a very good rotation option. Similar to Basuma, Cody's best asset is that he gets consistent minutes for Wolves, as he played 37 matches last season. This is obviously exactly what you want for a 4.5 million pound defender, and amongst all Wolves defenders, he is probably the most locked to get game time, and he's also coming at the cheapest price in that Wolves defence. Also, last season he did underperform his XG and XA, as his XG was 1.45 and XA was 0.2. Obviously, you aren't really looking at him for his attacking returns, but more his clean sheet potential, and I think with the return of Willy Bolly into that Wolves side as well, this should increase their clean sheets for the new FPL season. Now moving on to the third bench filler option, it is Robert Sanchez. Sanchez is coming in at 4.5 million pounds in goals for Brighton, as he is one of the top owned keepers in the game with a 28.7% ownership, which does actually make him the second highest owned keeper only behind Emmy Martinez. It is clear to see why, as Robert Sanchez only played 2,400 minutes last season, but did get himself a very impressive 10 clean sheets. He was averaging around 1 clean sheet every 3 games, which is incredibly good value for his price tag. This meant that in last year's FPL season, he did get himself 101 FPL points, recording 66 saves over this period. This obviously does mean that he should be getting a fair few save bonus points coming into the new campaign, and he is predicted a very impressive 4 points in the first game week. Speaking of, Brighton faced Burnley in game week 1, and then their good run of fixtures is continued as they face Watford, Everton and Brentford as their next 3. Over this period, you could expect Brighton to get either 2 or 3 clean sheets, and for predicted points from game weeks 1 till 6, Sanchez has actually projected the most points out of any 4.5 million pound play in the game. Obviously, Sanchez could present as a good starting option as well, but if you do want to go for a more expensive keeper such as the likes of Martinez, then Sanchez could be a good backup bench keeper. And moving on to the next bench filler on the list, it is Rob Holding. Holding is coming in at 4.5 million pounds and looks to be very good value in the Arsenal defence. He is only owned by 4.5% of managers, which does make him the 8th highest owned 4.5 million pound defender. Holding had a very impressive season last year, getting himself 105 FPL points, as he was only behind Connor Cody in total FPL points for 4.5 million pound defenders. 
He achieved this by getting himself 1 assist and 11 clean sheets as he was fairly impressive in that Arsenal defence and he is projected 3.7 points in game week 1 as Arsenal have a good fixture against Brentford. Arsenal have the 3rd lowest expected goals conceded for the new campaign and they do have a very good fixture under start the season as despite facing Chelsea and Manchester City in game weeks 2 and 3 respectively, they do face Norwich and Burnley after that. Then from game week 6 all the way to game weeks 11, they don't have any fixtures with an FDI rating over 3. So with Arsenal's very impressive starting fixtures and Rob Holding's great vote in their defence, he could definitely be a good differential option at the back. So now moving on to the 5th and final bench filler, it is Billy Gilmore. Gilmore is coming in as the minimum price for midfield is at £4.5 million and is a good differential option in the middle of the park as he just has a 5% ownership. Billy Gilmore does seem to be the other alternative to Eves Basuma if you do want to go for a more differential option. Obviously, Gilmore is on loan from Chelsea, so I am expecting him to get some starting minutes for Norwich in the new campaign. He only managed 8 FPL points last season as he didn't really get too many minutes, and is obviously not predicted any game with 1 points as yet. As I said before, I would expect Gilmore to get some starting minutes for Norwich, and he should be upholding a more attacking role than the likes of Basuma as he plays in central midfield, which does offer that extra attacking potential. Obviously, Norwich have a very difficult start to the season where they face Liverpool, Man City, Leicester, and Arsenal as their first four matches, but after that, they do have a fixed return as in the next four they face Watford, Everton, and Burnley, and Brighton. So, if you do just want to hold on for Gilmore for the first four matches, hopefully, he get those two starting points per game, maybe offer that attacking potential, and then he could potentially be a good bench option after that. So, for that reason, if you are looking for that differential option compared to the likes of Eves Basuma, then Gilmore could be the man. So that's what we've got for today for the best FPL bench fillers coming into the brand new FPL campaign. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe to show support for the channel. And also click the notification bell so you guys don't miss any future uploads. Leave a comment what you guys thought of these bench filler options and do you have any of them in your teams. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.